in today's video, we're going to see how to create this awesome map style plan in Photoshop. Okay guys, so first we're going to export our CAD files, right? So uh, we're going to go to our AutoCAD and I'm going to export two files just because I want it to be much more organized when I import it to Photoshop. So one file is going to be only the, the coastline. I downloaded this map from cadmapper.com and uh, it has maps from all over the world. And this one is especially from Singapore. And I did it especially for this video. So I uh, exported the coastline uh, map and then I exported the map that has, uh, you know, all the inside lines, grids, uh, railways, etc., etc. You want to export this as a PDF file. And you want to remember it has to be in a good resolution. If you're going to print it out in a, in a big paper, in a big pres presentation board, you want it to be in a good, good resolution. Okay, so that is our first step. Now we are going to open Google Earth in our uh, in our computer, and we're going to search for the same location that we that we have in our maps in our CAD maps. And I'm just going to save various images, various you know, close ups, about ten or fifteen close ups, and then we're going to merge them together in Photoshop. Right, so. What you do is just zoom in. You don't want to zoom in too much because then you, you will have to export a lot of images. You just want to export, you know, you just want to zoom in uh, the, the right amount. And then you're going to go to File, uh, Save, Save Image. And you want to set your settings to, for it so it can be a very high resolution image, okay? And you're going to export various images. As you guys can see, I'm just panning around. I'm not zooming in or out because then this is going to... Uh, then I'm going to have images with different zooms and with different uh, zooms on them. So I'm just going to keep on the zoom, but I'm just going to pan out, pan, uh, you know, sideways and save different images. OK. So once we do this, we are going to go to Photoshop and there is an option, right? It's it's in your file bar. It's it's called a photo merge, right? So you go to photo merge, you select the files that are in the folder and with the automized uh, selection that is by default, you just press OK and Google Earth is going to recognize all of the images and it's going to merge them together. So it's very important to have a, a if you want to have a great merge, it's, it's very important to have all the images, uh, you know, overlap a little bit, right? If you have images that are, you know, very distant from each other, it's not going to look as well. Now we are going to com combine our AutoCAD file or PDF file with our Google Earth image that we just uh, merged, right? So we're just going to import our PDF file into Photoshop and we're going to also drag in our uh, Google Earth image and we're going to try to place them and size them up so they can be, uh, you know, the correct size and they can be overlapping just fine. So you can do this with, with Control T on your keyboard. You press Control T and you can size it up, size it down, and just make sure all the lines coincide. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be, you know, it has to have sense, right? Now we're going to mask out our land using CAD lines. Now this is very simple, right? So you just press W on your keyboard, stand on your line tool and press inside the ocean, right? Once we press inside the ocean, we press the mask tool and uh, we press control I. So everything is going to be seen is going to be the land except in everything that's going to be hidden is the ocean. So I'm going to be super uh, emphatic on this because then everyone's going to everyone's going to comment. I didn't get that step. OK, so first you click the wand tool inside the ocean part right when you're standing on the lines part and you click on the mask tool right that is going to hide everything else then you're going to point to press control i and that's going to only reveal the texture now you're going to insert paper textures right we want to give it a little bit of an old feel 
So I'm just going to download a paper texture from the internet. You can just search old paper texture on Google and I'm just going to duplicate them and put them behind. That's a very easy step. Now we're going to colorize our textures, right? And uh, we do this by uh, going to our adjustment layer, pressing hue saturation and pressing colorize. You guys can see in the bar, right? Once we do this, uh, we can just uh, not, you know, adjust the the hue such the hue bar or the light the saturation bar and the lightness, and it's going to change colors, right? So this is you're going to do this for the ocean, and you're also going to do this for the earth. And and eighth step, we're going to insert our grid. So we're going to go to uh, Google, or we're going to go to our Google Images, look for a grid, a white space grid. We're going to paste it in and we're going to set it to a divide mode or to a different mode that makes our grid look, look like it has white lines and it's going to reveal the back of our image, right? So I'm just, I'm, I'm still testing out here which colors uh, adjust best and you, you know, that's the, that's the idea. If you guys test out um, different colors, maybe you don't want a old style map look, maybe you want a more modern look or maybe a more monochromatic look. So just test it out with a hue saturation adjustment layer. And finally, we're going to insert the text. So, uh, you know, to have this old style map, we need some some classic text. So remember, I'm, I'm using a type, typography called Baskerville typeface. So you want to use that. I think that's by default in uh, your Windows computer. And you're just going to search for in, in the map you know what places or what represent what representative places you want to make stand out and you're just going to type them in right and that is basically it you know you can also add many things like the north symbol the scale symbol maybe you can uh make some place add a paper texture that's a little bit older so it can look a little bit you know more vintage but that is a basic step i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next video thank you for watching bye